Hello boys and girls, Rob Andrew here, and I'm going to show you how to make a custom collage in Photoshop. Um, custom collage is cool when you don't want to um, conform to a certain type of layout. You might have your own mix of pictures. I just have a handful here. Uh, one vertical, horizontal, horizontal. Uh, this could be a square um, or, or horizontal, and this is another horizontal. So I'm going to go back, um, create a new file for my collage. I'm going to set it to 36 by 24 inches. Uh, if that were your desired print size, you could set it there or, or you could set it <clears throat> to whatever your desired print size is. That's the nice thing about custom resolution, 300 PPI for print. Um, I'm going to set RGB color 16 bit because that's what my images are. Create. And then all I have to do here is just lay down some rectangles. Um, which is pretty easy. So just grab the rectangle tool. I like to grab a crazy fill color. Fill color, I like to be crazy because you're going to have an easier time seeing which layer is which. All right, and then you want to make sure your snapping is on. So I'd go to view, go to snap to and check all. Mine's already there, but um, if yours isn't, you may want to do that just so um, things will snap into place for you. All right, rectangle tool. If you click and drag, you're going to create some random size and it's hard to control. So rather than do that, single click, it'll ask you, what do you want? And you'll say, I want, for example, 18 inches by 12 inches, 12 IN. Say, okay. And it'll give you something that you can work with. And then just drag that into place. And again, it's going to snap into place because we got snapping on. And then just do another one. So I'll do another one. <clears throat> do another one of these single click. All right, 12. Move it into place. Boom. Maybe change the color. We want to be able to know. When we look at this layers later, it's easier to know where we're dropping our image. All right, I'll make one more down here. 18, 12. I'm going to throw this in the middle. This this is where it gets a little more improvisatory. 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 Something like that. Um I got a, now I have the same kind of rectangle but I have this vertical and this square ish. Let's go there. And then I'm going to change the color on this one too. Let's go pink. All right, and then this one Okay, now this one, I'm, I'm going to do the click and drag because I don't want to measure it. I just want to click and drag and we'll make it uh, green. And then I'll just hit Control T to transform this. And as I'm transforming, the sides should snap into place against the edges of the canvas and against the other things. And then we'll do one more over here. All right. Don't have to be perfect right now. Let's go with blue and transform it. Just snapping all the edges into place. All right, and now I have a layout that I can work with with the five images that I have. Um, here's a horizontal. All right, let's just control A, select all, control C for copy. And uh, we'll just paste that right into our collage. So I'll just paste, I want that one up here on yellow. So I'll just paste it here, control V. It's gonna go to its own layer. And then you just hit, you just right click. Here's the secret sauce, hit create clipping mask. And it's gonna be clipped. So, you know, you won't see it going over the edges. It'll just be right in that rectangle. And then you can um, you can snap it in, or you can transform it if you wanted to um, to crop it tighter or whatnot. You can kind of do that, but I want to use almost the whole thing with this picture. So zoom out a little and just kind of bring it in where you like it. That's fine for me. Over on the bottom, I want um, this one. All 
Actually, no, I want that one up here. I like this one the best. So we're going to paste that here. Again, right click, uh, clipping mask, drag, transform, just make it fit. Doesn't have to be perfectly cropped. Just want all the main stuff to fit. Um, I like a little leaving a little overlap. It's just more margin for error. And then um, let's see down here. We got one more um, horizontal. So grab that one's done. So grab this one. Control A, Control C for copy. Paste on pink. And right click, clip and mask. Drag it in. Same thing here. Get our vertical. And you are done. That's it. So if a client says, hey, can you send us a little sample of your work or something, you, you can throw something like this together, send them one image, instead of sending them like, you know, five attachments, all different sizes and stuff. Send them one image, they can just look at it. You could save this as a PDF if you want. Um, you have a nice little collage put together in minutes. If you want more rows or more columns, it's really easy to just lay down more rectangles. You can even lay down crazy shapes like ellipses and polygonal stuff. Um, but I usually just go with rectangles because I'm a simpleton. All right, thanks for watching and uh, signing off until next time.